Okay, uh, good morning class. So at this point we, we started our topic on fractions, correct? Yes. Was there any issues regarding these, uh, the fractions? Well, what was for our homework first name? Um, it was exercise, skills one and two. Page 47. Page 47. Okay. So it's um, the fraction practice. Okay, so fraction plan page forty seven. Okay. So the first value that is missing there in number one is what? Twelve. I think I think yesterday we did number one. So you had to do number three. Okay, so what's your answers to number three? What is missing there? Four, yes? Thirty-three, yes? Forty-four, yes? Eighteen. You all agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, my girl? Sorry? Uh, that, that disc is um, nailed down. Okay. In the future, don't put your, your stuff down in there. Okay. Here's a ruler you can use. You want to take us a ruler? Listen, man. You are wasting my time, Michael. Okay? You are sent to school to learn. Not to know about why it's just like that. Man. Did you ask your, your register teacher? Okay? okay. Yeah, I got, I got a mission. I got a certain amount of work I need to cover. I'm going over your grade 7 and 6 maths work. Which means to say we haven't started with the grade 8 syllabus yet. So every time you ask something like this and unnecessary comments like that, girl, you're wasting time. Man. You understand? So I beg you and plead from you. In future, don't do this. No, if you don't mind. Is it okay? I'm speaking nicely to you. No? Okay, so that is uh, skill one, number three. Let's go to um, number five. Number five in simplest form is what? Are well, you supposed to do number five? Yes. Seven over? Seventeen. Number seven? Three over seventeen is correct. Number nine? Two over five. Okay. Then you have to do skills two. Odd numbers. So the first answer is 13 over 4. 25 over, uh, number 3 is 25 over 4. Number 5 is 97 over 8. Number 7 is 111 over 10. Number 9 is 49 over 4. Number 11 is 49 over 3. Number 13 is 39 over 4. Number 15 is 61 over 9. Number 17. Is nine over nine and one over three. Number nineteen is thirteen and a half. Number twenty-one is seven and a half. Number twenty-three is twenty-seven. Number twenty-five is six and eleven over twelve. And number twenty-seven is eighteen and one over four. And twenty-nine is seventeen and a quarter. All right. Okay, just this before we go to that. Skill one. Was there any issues regarding skill one? No, so all that numbers is fine in number one. Okay, so skill two is the issue, okay? So in skill two number? 19, 19 okay? Just give me a minute. Skill two. Number 19.
Any other issues other than 19? Yes? Any other problems? No. Sir. no. Yes, Michael? Um, 15. 15. You can just call it out, no? You don't need to. When I ask you, any problems? You say 15 and so on. Then I just capture. Okay, so 15 is from the previous one, no? And which page is this on? 47. Okay, so the, uh, the mixed numbers and improper fractions, the, the number 15 was to write the mixed number in, in, in an improper form, fraction form. So we say 9 times 6 is 54. 54 plus 7 is going to give you 16. 1 over 9. Who asked this question? Right, well, what did you have? Sorry? 16. So you added it up. Okay, anybody else got a different answer? You all got 60, we will go all right. Number 19. We have to write this in. From improper form, when is it improper? If the numerator is larger than the denominator. You must write it in mixed number form, mixed fraction form. So 2 goes into 27 how many times? You don't know. If you don't know, you do it long with short division. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 17. That two go into eight, four times into six, three times, and the remainder one. one. So if it's a remainder one, then that will be thirteen and a half. It will be the remainder over the device. Okay. Uh, who asked for this question? Where did you? What did you write? I wrote eighteen. Eighteen. How do you get eighteen? I think, I mean, I think I saw it as 37 instead. 37. Yeah, 37 will give you 80. So 36 divided by 2 is 80. Okay, any other issues? No. Okay. So now we're looking at skill 2 or 3 on page 34. Skill 3 on page 34. So what you're going to look at is the odd numbers again. If we find that there's a major issue, then I'll give you the even numbers as well. Okay. So they asked to complete these multiplications. Okay. So in this case, we need to see, we need to check if there's something that can cancel out before we multiply. So we're always going to simplify before we multiply. So you can make a note there. Okay, under the skill 3, multiplication fraction. So you make the first note, the bullet there. Yeah? Very important. You simplify before you multiply. Okay. The golden rule. You must write this down, this note. You always simplify before we multiply. multiply. Okay, and we of course we simplify numerator with a denominator as as we did in skill one. Okay. It's very, very important to do it in that order. The reason for that is because if you multiply before you simplify, then the sums that you're gonna work with are fairly large, very big numbers. Okay? And when the numbers are big, the factors that we need to check that can be divided into is then um, difficult to, to identify. Does it make sense? Okay. So let's look at number one. You got seven over uh, five over seven multiplied by 
6 over 11. 5 over 7. Multiplied by 6 over 11. So is there any numerator and denominator that can cancel it? Is there any numerator and denominator that can cancel? No. no. So what do we do? You say 5 multiplied by 6 is? 30 and 7 times 11 is? 77. I think we must do all of it. Alright, do number 2 quickly for me. Do number 2. Okay. Is there anything that can simplify here? No. You all agree with that? It can simplify here. We can't go with 8 and 4, no? Why not? Because both are numerators. So it's 8 times 4? 32. 9 times 11? Is there any confusion here? No? Let's look at number 3. Explain this one, you can do number four. Is there anything that can cancel with numerator and denominator? Yes. Five goes into five once. Five going to ten? Five goes into ten. You understand? So, okay. so one times one is one, two times eleven is? Yes, my girl. First part, okay. Yeah. The idea is, remember what's the note I told you to write down in terms of this here? We to first simplify before we multiply. So in skill one, we showed you how to cancel out, to, convert, to, to reduce numbers. Likewise, here the same story. We can only cancel a numerator and a denominator. And it can only be a cancel across the multiplication sign. It was coming from different fractions. If it's of the same fraction as we dealt with before, if it's the same fraction, the numerator, like here, if it's the same fraction, numerator can cancel the denominator. Can you see that? However, if it's a different fractions, it can only cancel across a multiplication sign. Can you see that? So 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10, twice. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 11 is 20. Understand? Right. Do for me number 4 quickly.
Okay, let's look at the next one. Is there any numbers that can simplify here? Can 5 and 11 simplify? 9 and 6? What number can go into 9 and into 6 without remaining? 3. So, 3 goes into 9? 3 times. 3 goes into 6? Twice. You're too fast, fast, man. You're too fast. 3 times 5 is? 15. 11 times 2 is? 22. Now, say you didn't simplify. So you had 9 over 11 multiplied by 5 over 6. So you will state and multiply, so that's going to be 45 over 66. But now you must see that, okay? 3 goes into 45. 15 times. 3 goes into 66. 20. Then you get 15 over 20. You understand? But the problem with this is later on you're going to have numbers looking like this. 1,000 and 63 divided by the 5,261. Can you see that 7 can go into both those numbers? No. With 12, not 12, 3 could go into both of them. No. So we try and keep the sum simple or small. So that it's easy to pick up which numbers can be divided into. Do you guys understand? Yes, Implement this method. This number is still small here. Later on the numbers will be big, uh, getting bigger. Okay. Which is then going to pose a, a problem of long multiplication. Okay. For that number, 3 might and 7 might not go into it. Number five. Eight. Eight can be written as a fraction, not so? Eight can be written as? Eight over one. Eight over one. So is there any numerator and denominator that can cancel here? Numerator, any uh, common factor between one and six? No. Seven and eight? No. So what's eight times six? 48. 1 times 7 is? And you have a choice if you want to write that in mixed number form or leave it in improper form. Okay, from here on out, you're allowed to leave your sum in improper form. Unless the question states, write your number in mixed, mixed, not simple, mixed form. Okay. If the question says uh, your answer must be in mixed form, you must write the answer in mixed form. If they don't specify, you can leave it in either or method. Okay. State. You will see me now leaving numbers in the improper form. Okay. You do for me number six. Okay. So what number? Okay, so 11 can be written as 11 over 1. Is there any numerator and denominator that can cancel it? Go through. You okay? So nothing can simplify then, no? Eh? So 5 times 11 is? 1 times 9 is? You're going to write that in um, mixed form, it's going to be 6. 
in one of them. Not so. So that was number six. Let's look at number seven. We got four times nine over forty. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance to do both. Two minutes, do those two sums quickly. Okay, guys are ready? Okay, we're still busy? Okay, we're all waiting for you. And now you can see the importance of knowing your timetable. Hmm? And if you're not good at your timetable, practice it. Okay? Okay. So let's look at number seven. So naturally this is over one. What number goes into four and into fourteen without remaining? Two. Two goes into four? Twice. And in fourteen? Seven times. Two multiplied by nine is? Eighteen. Over one times seven is? Seven. For those of you who are going to write in improper or in mixed form, it's going to be two and four over seven. Not so. So look at the next one. Naturally, that's over one. Seven is over one. Is any numerator and denominator get cancelled in this case? No. no. So it says straight. Eleven multiplied by seven is twelve multiplied by one is. Twelve. For those of you writing it in mixed form, it will be six because we have twelve times six is seventy-two and uh, five over twelve. Okay. Any confusion here? Yes, Michael. The cancel. What did we say? What can only cancel? Numerator and denominator. Okay. This is a numerator and that's a denominator. Numerator, denominator. Numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator. You can only cancel a numerator and a denominator. They got in front of a row. What are you busy with? Don't even lie to me. What are you busy with? So why are you on your phone? But why did you have to switch it off now? Why is your phone on in the first place? When did you forget to switch it off? So why is your phone on before you came in? Wasn't didn't you have another lesson before that? Yes. You don't do that in a match we did, my girl. Yes. 
So remember, it's only numerators and denominators that can cancel. You understand? So, what number goes into 4 and into 14 without remainder? 2. 2. Right. So, 2 goes into 14. Uh, uh, two, 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 um, 2 goes into 4 how many times? 2 goes into 7 how many times, Michael? 7. And that's how I get the 7. Now we multiply. Now, can 9 and 1, is there anything that you can? No. So it's simply 2 multiplied by 9. What's 2 multiplied by 9? 18. 18. 1 multiplied by 7 is? 7. seven. So you get 18 over 7. Okay. Yes, Michael? So if um, there is some way that 9 can go into 1, will we use that number? Yes. Absolutely. Now, if you look at number 8, look here. Is there a, a number that can go into the numerator and the denominator without remainder? No? Numerator, denominator? No? Numerator? No. So that is why I went straight and said 11 multiplied by 7 and 12 multiplied by 1. Thank you, sir. Okay. For homework. We are on page 47. We do skills 3, the odd numbers. Okay. On page 47, skills 3, the odd numbers. Okay. Now we're looking at skills 4 on page. Thirty-four. Now, um, this you didn't do last year, no? Mm -hmm. Of swapping a fraction around and those things. No. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll go a bit slower over this. It is dividing fractions. Right, the dividing fractions skills four. Dividing fraction skills form. And it's on page 34. Okay, it looks like uh, plus is there, no? But it's actually a divide. In the books you can see it's a divide, clearly, no? If you look on the board, from there it looks like a plus. No? no. You can see it's a divide. No. Right, good. It looks like a plus from, from me. Sorry? But it's all divide. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, but in your books you can see it's a, a divide. Okay. Dividing fractions on page 34. It says complete these divisions. Okay. So look at number one. Okay. The sum says 4 divided by 1 over 6. 4 divided by 1 over 7. That 4 is naturally over what? Over 1, no? Now you see this division here. I'm going to change that. So the first note is, you make a bullet the next to it. The first note is you're going to change the all division signs to multiplication signs. So that's the first note you're going to learn. You're going to change division signs to multiplication. Okay? The next step is then swap, then swap. Numerator and denominator. Okay, so firstly we're going to change all division signs to multiplication sign. Secondly, we're going to swap 
numerator and denominator of the fraction that follows the division sign. So okay. it will now be 1 over 4. The, the fraction that follows, oh. not precedes, that follows. So which fraction are we going to swap around? 1 over 7 is going to become? 7 over 1. You guys understand? You swap numerator and denominator of the fraction that follows the division sign. Okay. The third bullet is going to be then simplified. Then simply, then we do what we normally do. Okay, you guys got it? So let's look at that. Looking at the first one, it's going to be 4 over 1. 4 over 1. This we're going to change to multiplication. 7 over. You see that, people? Now, looking at that, is there any number that can simplify the denominator and numerator at this point? So, what do we do now? So, 7 times 4 is? 1 times 1 is? And what is 28 over 1? That means to say, there are 28 sevenths, or 1 over 7, in 4. Or you can divide 4, 28 times into 1 over 7. Okay? You guys understand? Yes, yes. yes Michael. So, if for the last part it was 28 over 2, would we simplify it to by dividing the 28 by 2? Say again? Okay, so if the um, denominator for 28 over 1 was 2. If it was 2 then, yeah. then I would have said 2 going to 2 once, 2 going to 28, 14 times, give you 14. Oh, okay. But if that 2 was there, then I would have said 2 going to 2 once, 2 going to 4 twice. 2 times 7 is 14, number 1, which is 14. Okay? You all okay with that? Yes, Let's do another one. Number 2. Number 2 sum is 5 divided by 7 over 9. Let's do the sum together. 5 divided by 7 over 9. So what's the first thing we're going to do? I'm going to change change the division. division to multiplication. So it's 5 over 1 multiplied by. Then what do we do? Swap the fraction or the denominator or the numerator with the fraction that follows the division sign. So that swaps it up. Okay? So this would become Okay. Now, is there any numerator and denominator that can cancel it? No. So, what do we do now? Five times. What's five times seven? Five times seven? Sorry? Thirty-five. Over? Not thirty-five, forty-five. Five times nine. Five times nine. Did I say five times seven? Yes. Okay, my mistake. Yes. Then you shouldn't say. Then you must say why are you multiplying it by six? Forty-five. Nine times five is forty-five. Seven times one is. If you want to write that in a mixed form, seven goes into forty-five six times. So it's forty-two remainder three. It's three of us. Okay. 
This is another one. This look at number three. I'll give you a chance to do number three first. Number three and four. Guys finish? Yes, okay. So the first one, again we're going to change division to multiplication. And we tumble and times. Okay, tumble means to say swap around. We only swap around the fraction that follows the division. Not the one that comes before. The question is, you should be asking yourself, is there a number that can simplify the numerator and the denominator? Yes. Which number? Two. Two goes into two ones. Two goes into eight? Four times. So three times four is? Over. Which is? Who got that right? Okay. Where did you go wrong? You? Sorry? Yes, I know you did it wrong, that's why your hand didn't go up. My question is, where did you go wrong? Okay, you read for me your first line here. I did, so, okay. The thing is, I didn't simplify the number. So you then got 24 over 2. But now, if you don't simplify, so you got 8 over 1 multiplied by 3 over 2. So you don't see that 2 goes into both. So 8 times 3 is 24 over 2. Now you must ask yourself, what number goes into 24 and into 2 without the remainder? 2. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 12, and 24, 12 times. Which now gives me 12 over 1, which is 12. I'm going to give you the same one. Okay. Any other confusion? No. Okay. Is okay number five? Did I do six already? No. no. Let's look at number six first. Number four, sorry. Okay, six divided by nine over here. So what does I do first? 6 over 1 times 11 over 9. Is there any number that can go into 6 and into 9 without remainder? Yes. We yes. go at the back. We must look here. No? 3. 3 go into 6 how many times? Twice. Three times. You will agree with that? So what's 2 times 11? Over? Okay. If you want, you can write it in mixed form. 3 goes into 21, so it's 7, and 1 over 3. I'm going to give you a chance to do number 5. Well, you guys get the idea? Yes, sir. Okay, so let me just do it quickly, because I want to touch on the, on the part mass as well. Okay, so uh, let's do it together. What are we going to do first here? Um, we're going to swap. 
that the 9 over 5. See any number that can simplify here? No. So it will simply be 9 times 2 is 18 over 35. Number 8 is interesting. We've got 8 over 7 divided by 6 over 7. What needs to be done first here? You change this to? Multiplication. So it's going to be 8 over 7 multiplied by yes? 7 over 6. Remember? You're tumbling in times. You're swapping it in. So easy? Anything that can cancel out here? Anything that can simplify here? Yes, what can simplify? 2 goes into 8 how many times? 4 times. 2 going to 6? 3 times. 7 going to 7? 7 going to 7? So what is 4 times 1? Over? 3. Or it can be written as 1 and 1 over 3. Okay. Any confusion? For homework. For those of you who are a bit confused, you can watch the video again this afternoon online. The video is off free. If I made a mistake, you can just let me know on my number on the screen as well. Okay. For homework, it's going to be uh, skill 4 on page 47. Skill 4 on page 47. And I want you guys to do the odd numbers okay there was there a question i had somebody talking yes michael as soon as the lesson is finished i upload it the time you get home or after break or during break you can download it already onto your tablet okay you connect the school's wi-fi yeah then you just download it especially if it if you feel that that is a lesson that you need to rewatch. you're not going to rewatch every lesson doesn't make sense so just go to the sections that you had problems with, download the video, and watch it as, as needed, okay? Okay. Yes, now we're on pod mass on this last few minutes. For homework, you had to do skill uh, book C, worksheet 3, the odd numbers. All right. So let's go through this quickly. So the first answer is? Sorry? Zero. The next one? Two. Two. The next one? Study? Twenty. The next one? Am I moving too fast here? Yeah. You guys are paging that pages like we're in the war here. Yeah. You found the page you're looking for. Right. Yes, Michael. It's the same one. There's another time for that yet. Okay. Number seven? 84. Number uh, 9? 30. 30, no problem. Alright, let's go to number 1. Any issues here? Yes, the girl at the back is here from you. What did you do first? Uh, I did the bracket. 40 in the bracket. That's your mistake. Because if you look at this here, in the bracket, what needs to be done first between negative and multiplication? I'm oh, sorry, minus and multiplication. The multiplication has to be done first. You said take minus 2, which is 8 times 5. But in actual fact, according to part mass, multiplication had to be done first. You understand? So that is simply going to be a 10 minus 10 times 15. 10 minus 10 is 0 times 15 is 0. Let's make that correct. Any issues with number 3? No, take the number, three. number five. You all okay with that? Yes, you. Okay, what's your answer? Ten. Ten. Go for it. Okay, so I said um, I did the bracket. Yes, nice. So you got six. Now, okay, 30 divided by two is? Fifteen. Fifteen divided by five. What's fifteen divided by five? Three. That's your mistake. You got six. Okay? And 60 divided by 3 is 20, which is correct. Let's go to number 7. Any issues there? No, sir. Anybody? Yes, Michael, what did you get? Um, Can I go for it? Um, so I did, I did the multiplication for 10 times 2 is 20. 
Okay, now, just the same, man. What, what does a mistake need? Do you do division first? Where do we get that from? God mass. Remember, this can interchange as we find it from left to right. So looking at this section here, what is coming first? Division. So you have to divide first. You understand? So if you're making a mistake, you make a note there. So you are bought a bar mass, you can interchange multiplication addition, but as you can see, division is coming first here. So it's going to be 100 minus, that's going to give you 8 times 2. Again, multiplication, so it's 100 minus 16, which is 84. Okay. Any issues with number 9? Yes, sir. Yes, Michael. What's your answer? My answer was 19. Right, go for it. That and it's going to give you 7, yeah? Divided by 7. And then I did 7 divided by 7. 7 divided by 7 is? 1. 1, nice. And so 93 minus 1 is? 92. 92. So those of you who got 13 is wrong. So anybody who got 30, mm -hmm. tell me how did you get 30? Yes? yes? Right, so what is 80 minus 73? 80 minus 73. Yes. Um, what did you, right, say what you had. I said 93, then I said minus 10, 80, I said minus 73, then I said... Wait, wait, you're going too fast. You wrote the sum down wrong. What did you do? I said 93. 93, yes? Minus 10 brackets, 80 minus 70. Which is what? You wrote 7. Yes, sir. I said 93 minus 7. Oh, you didn't write divide by 7 yet. That's your mistake. You agree with that? Right. So the divide by 7 had to also come in. Right, let's carry on. Number 11. Wait, wait. Let's just move this down. And you watch the videos, no? Anyway, along the video, you look for this. Your That's your audition, please. Okay. Vocal ensemble auditions will take place now in the hall for grade 10 and 11. Vocal ensemble auditions will take place in the hall now during break for grade 10s and 11s. The press club will meet in Miss Fenter's classroom now during break. Press club will meet in Miss Fenter's classroom now during break. Thank you. Okay. So let's go to number 11 quickly. What's the answer? Three. 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 Next one? Nine. Nine. Next? Three. Fifteen. Next? Three. Next? Three. Next? Right. Let's go to the first one. Any issues there? Yes, no? Number 13? Yes, you got the issue there? Okay. So that has to give you 20 plus 1 divided by 7. It's going to give you 21 divided by 7 is 3. Any problems with number 13? No. Number 15? No. Number 17? 17? Yes. So, so that's going to give us 9 divided by 3, which is 3. How can you measure? Who got 17 wrong? Wait, what did you have? Huh? How do you get 4? How do you get 2? Nine minus three is not two. How do you get seven? Huh? What is your answer, Michael? Number thirty. Number 30. We passed thirty. Now, what you did? Did you have a problem with thirty? You must have said yes. What is your answer to thirty? Seven. How do you get seven? Is what? Twenty. Yes. But now what is twenty plus seven? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven divided by three is what? Count the threes. 
Nein, da habe ich gezippelt. Is that a number 19 correct? No? For number 19. Okay, just hang on. So this needs to be done first. So it's going to be 2 plus 9 divided by 3. Then division must be done first according to bottom mass. So it's 2 plus 9 divided by 3 is? Which is? Is this a wrap this up quickly? Hi. Just hang on, I'm busy. What do you see? Just hang on. Close the door, sir. Okay. 21. This is a wrap this up here quickly. 15. You all agree with 15? Yes, sir. Anybody got it wrong? No. no. The next one? 26. 26. Yes, sir. Nice. Any problems there? No, sir. Right. For homework. I want you guys to do book C, worksheet 3, the even numbers. Book C, worksheet 3, the even numbers. People enjoy the rest of your day. Good afternoon, class. You can come inside now. You can have it. Your ruler come out then. Yesterday was here. Where were you? I went down. I came late yesterday. But your daughter was here though. Oh, when you fetch my son? Pardon? When you fetch my son? Uh, I must also got kids. Uh, uh, Thank you. What's your favorite? Yes, sir. Pizza. Pizza? Okay. And the Mexican cheese. Okay. And can I get a bag? I just want one. Yeah. Why don't you buy Shiloh also one?